Hi, this is Wade Harvey. Welcome to Perl Tutorial Part 2, uh, displaying Hello World in a browser. And actually, we're just doing two things in this uh, tutorial. We're going to show how to um, display Hello World in a browser with um, using Internet Information Services, uh, that's Microsoft's uh, web server, and then we're going to use another web server in case you don't have uh, um, uh, uh, Internet Information Services, which requires XP Pro, uh, we're going to use Apache as the other web server. So, thanks. Okay, here's the uh, code for the Perl script. Uh, it's very simple. There's really only uh, four lines to the of real code. The first line uh, tells where the uh, Perl uh, executable lives that we installed. The second line tells it uh, what kind of uh, document we're sending to the uh, browser. The third line uh, gives the heading hello world I mean gives the title and the fourth line uh, prints the heading of hello world. So you can uh, either pause this or go to Ideal Programmer and look under the Perl uh, category for uh, to cut and paste this into your uh, notepad. And then you, you want to save it uh, into two places. I, I'm using TextPad, you can use Notepad, but you want to save it into C, Exampt, CGI, bin hello world that's for the Apache uh, version and the other place you want to save it to is um, um, on your C drive uh, if you uh, have uh, internet information services you have to have XP uh, Pro in order to have that. Uh, it doesn't come with a home edition, so uh, if you don't have uh, XP Pro, you have to pay to get XP Pro. So I, uh, you may not be doing this part of the tutorial. So you want to go into this uh, uh, iNet Pub and then www.root. and you save it uh, here as hello world like that so we save it in these two places and then we go to um, start control panel we're going to internet information services administrative tools internet information services first thing we have to do is uh, uh, configure internet information services so that uh, our default website will uh, be able to handle CGI and Perl extensions that means we want them, those extensions to point to use our Perl program. Uh, so we get a click on right click on default website, go to properties, click on properties, go to home directory, and come down here to this configuration at the bottom part of the screen with application settings configuration. And this opens up the extensions and uh, you can add an extension and then tell it to uh, go to the Perl uh, you want to go to C uh, add .cgi as the extension and then the executable path will be C colon Perl uh, bin Perl.exe and then percent sign S and another percent sign S. You need those 
two percent sign S is for parameters that get passed. And then you also want to add one for dot PL. And you can point it to the same place. And that's it. So now it's all configured. And now we can just go to Internet uh, uh, Explorer. And um, I didn't add it there because I've already added it on mine. It's just showing you how to do it. Go to Internet Information Explorer to localhost hello world and that points to INET pub uh, WW root. And you run uh, your script. Let's change this. Hello world. Click on run. And there we have it. Hello world. Yeah, voila. Okay. Now we need to turn off uh, internet information services uh, because Apache runs on the same port that uh, that. Um, Internet Information Services runs on. So we go back into the Control Panel, Administrator for Tools, and we this time we click on Services. And we scroll down in the Services until we get to IIS Admin. We click once on that. And then we stop that service, and it'll say, "Okay, we're using these other two. Is it okay to stop those services?" Sure. And this just stops it for this execution windows. You can re come back and restart it if, uh, after you finish with your Apache test, if you like. So now we've stopped it, and we want to uh, run ZAMP. I, I've already got it going, so, but yours is on your desktop. If you uh, did the uh, PHP in, uh, tutorial on installing uh, XAMPP, X-A-M-P-P, it's an easy way to install Apache. And so here we have Apache, and you just click Start. When it says running like that, it's running. Okay, and uh, then you go to uh, Internet Explorer. This time we uh, put the um, script in uh, the CGI bin. So in addition to saying localhost, we say uh, localhost slash cgi dash bin hello world dot cgi and uh, click on refresh and it says hello world and that's it we've tested uh, using our Perl script in two uh, different environments Apache and internet information Internet uh, Information uh, Services. Thanks.